From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Here's 11 a.m. advisory for potential tropical cyclone 8. 70 miles south southwest of Cape Fear does have winds of about 50 miles per hour gust up to 65. It's gained a little bit of forward motion now moving towards the north northwest at about five miles per hour. So a little faster than what it was going earlier this morning. It's been producing a lot of rainfall, some thunderstorms in the southeastern part of North Carolina. Here's the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center. One thing you will notice the tropical storm warnings have been dropped for Charleston. They continue for the Grand Strand parts of Georgetown and Horry counties. But here's the latest from the National Hurricane Center. Not expected to gain any strength. It's not expected to become a tropical storm at this point. So it looks like it's going to remain potential tropical cyclone eight. So not expected to gain a name as it does move onshore. It looks like somewhere along the Grand Strand and it will continue to weaken once it makes its way on land. So we'll continue to weaken over the next day or so. For us here across the Midlands, here is the impact. We'll say through early tomorrow, there will be the possibility for some rain. Can't totally rule out some heavy downpours, especially in the eastern and northern half of the Midlands, and it may be a bit breezy at times. So be prepared for some of that rain. Kind of hoping we could get a little bit more rainfall, but at this point, it looks like any rain that we do get across the Midlands for a large part of the Midlands, will be relatively light with maybe some higher amounts in the eastern and northern half of the Midlands. Tropical storm warning still in effect for Georgetown and Horry counties. They've been dropped down in the low country of South Carolina. As far as those tropical storm wind chances are concerned, very low chance for anything like that. And it's really confined to the extreme eastern part of the Midlands and the eastern part, extreme eastern part of South Carolina is where the greatest threat for tropical storm force winds for this afternoon and tonight as well. As far as the rainfall totals are concerned, the highest rain looks like it's going to be in parts of North Carolina, maybe over towards the PD and the extreme northern parts of South Carolina, right along the border of North Carolina and South Carolina. So for us here across the Midlands, at least the latest indications, not a lot of rain. Unfortunately, we could use a little bit more rainfall. Latest from our forecast model run showing a tenth to maybe a twelfth of an inch of rain. At this point, wish we could have gotten a little bit more rainfall. Officially, we're still under this excessive rainfall threat, but I will say most of the heavier shower activity and thunderstorm activity has been in parts of North Carolina so far today. We also have Tropical Depression Gordon out there. It's in the middle of the Atlantic, so it's not a big deal, but something we'll continue to monitor. It's still the potential Tropical Cyclone 8 that we're monitoring. Here's the latest from our forecast model run here, in-house model. You notice the rain kind of moving through parts of the Midlands. This is 5 o'clock, could have some heavier shower activity. 8 o'clock, that rain kind of starts to taper off. And again, the greatest threat for the heavier rain will be in the eastern and northern half of the Midlands. At this point, would not expect, expect any kind of flooding threat. Rain continues very early Tuesday, and then those rain chances will gradually decrease. We'll keep things mostly cloudy with a little bit of sunshine probably in the lower part of the Midlands and probably along the coastal region. On Wednesday, we'll go partly cloudy skies. At this point, we'll totally rule out a very small chance for a pop-up shower or maybe even a rumble of thunder. You'll notice a little bit of rain, especially in the southern and eastern half of the Midlands on Wednesday. We did manage to make it to 87 degrees yesterday. Did pick up two tenths of an inch of rain on Saturday. Our record for today is going to be safe and record low is going to be safe. Record rainfall two and 36 hundredths. That was set back in 1945. European forecast model showing the best chance of rain basically early tomorrow and then no real organized rainfall after that. The American model showing maybe that small chance for a little bit of rain on Wednesday and Thursday and then keeping things basically dry Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But once again, after today, the chances for much in the way of any kind of organized rainfall drops off pretty quickly. High temperatures today will say low to mid 70s. Scattered rain, a little bit breezy at times with winds out of the north at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. And for tonight, a few showers, especially in the northern half and of the Midlands and maybe even the eastern half with these lows dropping down into the middle 60s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy highs, upper 70s, low 80s will be in the middle 80s. It looks like for 
Wednesday, Thursday, mid 80s on Friday. And then as we look ahead towards the weekend, partly cloudy on Saturday, mostly cloudy on Sunday. With that tropical system out there, high risk for dangerous rip currents along the coastal region. So if you are heading to the coast, keep that in mind. Rain likely down in Myrtle Beach, it looks like for today, but the weather does improve tomorrow. Down in Charleston, weather's looking pretty good for tomorrow with those highs in the lower 80s. And then in the upstate, still do expect some rain tomorrow as potential tropical cyclone number eight continues to make its way out of South Carolina. 8 to 14 days out, September 23rd through the 29th, warmer than normal conditions and slightly wetter than normal conditions during that same time frame. As we continue to move through the month of September, I always think about the peak colors. Notice here, early November for a large portion of the Midlands then mid-November elsewhere. Fall equinox only six days away and Halloween's only 45 days away, the election seven weeks from tomorrow. And as always, you can follow me on the social media outlets, but we will continue to follow potential tropical cyclone eight as it does move through the Palmetto State, bringing a lot of rain to parts of North Carolina. But for us here across the Midlands, a few showers. Keep that umbrella handy and have a great rest of your day.